Hello, hello! It's Pax here, and we're back with another mystery mail call. So, uh, today is July 3rd. So, happy 4th of July to everyone tomorrow, if you're in the U.S. <laughs> if you're in Britain, well... <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> happy 4th of July to you, too. all good let's see what's in this first one it's such a strange way to pack yeah they just tossed everything semi-soft that they had didn't they <laughs> oh that's great <laughs> all right so we got some random packing material Bigger airbags. All right. Free the air. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Got some books. I love books. Which books are these? Er. Okay. Okay. What do we have here? Oh. What is this? Okay. <laughs> oh man, freaking pack and tape. Oh, come on. Oh, that's cool. The Age of Illumination. It's the Folio Society special edition for this. It's a little rough there. A bit of foxing. Nothing that can't be cleaned up. Byzantine art and civilization, Gothic art and civilization, early medieval art and civilization. Very nice. Kind of a rough slipcase, but that's the whole point of a slipcase, to take damage so your books don't. Oh, that's pretty. Early medieval art and civilization. Oh, these will go great in my reference library. Fantastic. So we called. Alright, next we have Gothic Art and Civilization. Nice. These are fantastically bound, too. Beautiful. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pour over these when I have a chance. Mm -hmm. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. And Byzantine art. As watchers of the channel, longtime watchers of the channel would know, grew up in the Eastern Orthodox Church. This is very much the kind of art that I enjoy. Not that those two things are necessarily related. I happen to also like Byzantine art. <laughs> I grew up in the Eastern Orthodox Church and enjoy Byzantine, Byzantine art. Beautiful. Oh, I'm going to love this. Nope. Exactly the kinds of iconography I grew up with. In fact, that 
almost that exact same uh, dome icon as at the uh, church I grew up in. That's not the church I grew up in, but a almost identical icon is painted on the ceiling of the church I grew up in. Very nice. Beautiful. I'm going to get hours of enjoyment out of those. Lovely. All right, the next thing. We have a bubble mailer with, ooh, okay. So I was going to pick up pre-cons for the Kamigawa block. It was not 25. I suspect the person that sold this paid 25 for this. Now, this was a little more than 25. It's closer to 70. But this is a Spanish a uh, copy of Rat's Nest from Betrayers of Kamigawa. Very nice. Still sealed. Funny enough, this has a copy of Shuko in it. And a copy of Umazawa's Jite. That was the pre-con that people went nuts over at the time. Let's see what this is. This shirt, I think. Says, please open back through top opening. Well, I'm not going to listen to that. <laughs> Too bad. I opened it through the bottom and also opened the back. Unwrap the joy, unlock the moment. Okay, whatever. This looks well well worn already. What is this? I ordered a shirt from from Japan, but I don't think it's supposed to look like this. Oh well, no, this is the shirt that I ordered. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I'm in this picture, and I like it. I am a dragon. This dumpster is my mountain of gold. <laughs> uh, oh, that's great. Wait, is this a tank top? Oh man, it's a tank top. Well, I don't know when I will wear this, <laughs> but I love the design on the shirt. I thought it was just supposed to be a t-shirt. Oh well. That's cool. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. All right. That's a nice one. Wish it was in English. Or Korean. I don't think they printed that in Korean. To be fair, though, I did end up buying another one in English when I realized it was in Spanish. And I didn't want to cancel it because... Well, I just didn't want to. It felt it felt more worthwhile of my time. To hunt down another one at a reasonable price. But to be honest, the cost of the or the price of those things has spiked since I bought that. So I'm glad I bought it when I did. Because the price of Shuko just ran up across those things. Because it does have a, it has a Shuko in it. And a GTA. I think like between the two, like just the price of the cards in it is like 50 bucks, something like that. Maybe more. No, it's definitely more because Shukos are like 45 now. Um, I don't know some amount. What is this? Oh, it's another... It's the second volume of the Illustrated Guide to Monster Girls. It's just adorable. I 
nice creepy anime or not anime but creepy manga very cool well, it's supposed to be creepy but it's it's just so adorable it's kind of hard for it to be creepy it is what it is oh it's such a weird packaging style and we got this what is this and that kind of goes along with the whole theme of this type of video. I have no idea what these are. Alright, alright. I'm gonna avoid giving away my home address. I really just need to have like all packages sent to not my home address, but it is what it is. Okay, what? What? What is this? I don't know what this is. Man fights with tape. What in the heck? Oh, it's a pack of some kind. What? Why would? Why would you ship that like that? Okay. It's also a packing list here. Okay, we're going to cover up real quick. I'm going to take the packing list out. Starter 99 pack 15. Well, it's not 15 cards. This is the Starter 99 demo game, which has 22 cards in it. So, that's a thing. And a comic board and bag. Does. Sure, why not? weirdest way to ship a, a single pack of cards that's just weird but look at that it's a demo game for two players in one pack oh 24 oh this one has 24 cards this demo game contains 24 starter game cards from the magic the gathering trading card game a tip card, a rebate card, and an instruction sheet. Everything two players need to play their first magic games. Very cool. So I've got a whole series of these that I'm trying to get my hands on. All of them. If you see someone with a Starter 2000 one, an 8th edition one, a 6th edition one, or a fourth edition one. Let me know. They didn't make one for fifth edition, but they did make one for fourth, which is really kind of hard to find. Uh, I am paying well for them, so if you find them, send me a message. So we got the demo game, we got a manga, we got a Spanish pre con. <laughs> really cool t shirt. Well, tank top thing that is just me distilled to a single picture. 
God, this beautiful Folio Society set of the Age of Illumination. It's just, I'm so stoked about this. All right. Smaller haul this time, but still very nice. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff for the algorithm. And uh, if you made it to the end, say, uh, I don't know, tell me a joke in the comments. So I know you made it to the end. Yeah, until next time, stay awesome. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.